Is it working? <laughs> oh, look at the butterflies. Uh, okay, uh, hi guys, and uh, welcome to one of the most difficult uh, strategy games that I ever encountered in my life. If you know this game, then you are really, really old, I can say. Hello to you too, sir. Uh, welcome to uh, Cultures. Too bad that the title isn't written around over here. But anyway, this uh, this is how the game is made. I'm not going to spend too much time describing it, but uh, as I said, it's a very old game. I hate it that every time I play it, it simply what was that? Simply screws up my screen resolution. If that happens, I'm going to show you how it happens. It's a very old strategy game, and it's pretty much the maybe not the most in-depth one, but really really difficult to master. I can't even say I can play it properly. I, I tried to play the campaign and um, you know I managed to get like okay first mission done, second mission done and by the third mission I was like Whoa, no way I'm playing this. And for this video I'm just going to play a random scenario. Uh, I man haven't played this game in like one hour. The time when I first played this game, I didn't even know English, and it was so frustrating because I couldn't understand what they want from me. Anyway, I will choose Niagara. I hope I hope that is not uh, water all there, because that will be a pretty concentrated map. And unless it crashes, okay, we'll go. So this map has no defined goals. I can play as long as I like, and that's what I really want to do. And this is how the game starts. Basically, it's just a few villagers that simply, you know, going around. And you control each and every one individually, so it's not uh, automatic. Oh. And uh, this game is going to be very, very long, so I brought some popcorn with me and some water. Because I tell you, this will be long, and I sh I suggest you do the same. So first, first thing first, this over here is the building menu. This is the quick access building menu, and it's very useful to um, build stuff around without going on the workers themselves. So you can build from here, or much easier from here. The first uh, thing, I will start with the farm. I'm not going to stay in and explain all of this in depth, but... Um, over time you'll understand it. So everyone who has the profession of building constructors already have been assigned to this task and are beginning to build. And as you can see it's very very slow so I'm just going to go ahead and speed it up. There is a regular speed up mode by pressing L. But sometimes even this is not going to be enough so I might use the um, thing to make it even faster. We clearly, we obviously have too many building constructors, so I'm going to go and assign them to some different professions. Every time you build something, a nice uh, little thing uh, with a nice music tells you that it has been completed. I'm going to assign this guy as a scout and uh, tell him to move around to find stuff. And this guy, I'm going to assign him as a farmer and choose his workplace to the farm and start working. This guy is a, just became an adult. So we start with a few kids, a girl kid and a boy kid, and uh, this guy just became an adult, and I'm going to make him a farmer as well. And I'm going to send now this guy around to first, first don't never forget, build a post. I'm going to explain it to you later, but it's very essential to build posts as you expand, because your workers will start to get lost if you don't. I need to go around to check whatever resources. This girl is an adult now. Okay, I found some trees. I found some iron ores. Yeah. This will be very useful to construct weapons and iron tools, but very, very late in game. And there's some food over here. Some. Mm, what the hell is this? Some stones, some relics. I, I don't even remember if this map has other tribes in it. I have no idea and it would be weird. We already got um, invented a new profession. We already got a guy who is maximum experienced as farmers, which will later unlock more things. So as I send this guy around, let's go ahead and do other stuff. 
So we now have unlocked meal, well, fruit farm and mushroom as this guy became experienced. But before that, I'm going to need to build, to dig in water for a well in order to, well, I just said to build a well. And start constructing a meal. I'm going to do it over here. This guy became an experienced building constructor. I'm going to order my females to find a partner. This is required. And now, everyone is getting married. Nice music and <laughs> look, they're cheering. <laughs> so the process of uh, um, the birds and the bees in this game is very complicated, as I might add. So after you um, like made the... Um, married them you need to build some houses in this case we only have the dwelling tent as we advance we'll have more bigger houses I'll make three houses it should be enough you build a post over here yeah yeah I'm glad you agree they have very funny voices I must say this style of gaming I really miss it the meal is ready and because of that I can assign the guy that has been experienced as a farmer to already become a miller. Also, I have 69 units of food which is kind of enough for... Um, so this is all the, un the items you can have. It is kind of okay for now but I'll need to find the food later on. So this is a clay pit, this will be very beneficial to gain clay from. Let's build another post. Yeah. What? Oh, God damn it, I keep missing. Over yeah. here. We have the dwelling tent ready. So we can now assign one of the married women to the houses. We can assign it before they're ready anyway, so... I thought I told all three of them. Anyway, you get married as well. <laughs> So even you have to tell them who to marry and I, I no you don't have to tell Luckily you don't have to tell them who to marry. They'll just marry a random person. You'd have to tell them to marry. And uh, this is how complex the game is. And after they have married and they have um, you have assigned them a house. Oh we have sheep. Very useful. Let's build another post right over yeah. here. And we'll need to go a little bit down or something, I don't know. Our dwelling tent is ready. Now I can tell the females to have a child and luckily for you, you can choose what that child to be. So it uh, it really depends. If you want to grow in... Um, I'll make another building constructor a farmer no, because no. I need to get this done. I need to become self-sustaining and I need to do that fast. And I can tell them to have, I'll tell them to have a boys because I really need to get my um, uh, workforce population ready. So it depends, if you want to increase your population a lot, you have a lot of females and you know, tell them to get more married and all that. If not, then just uh, tell them to have boys and uh, all that. As, as, as After you have told them, you can see over here, would like a child, that you can see what they what they are doing also their needs oh there's so much to talk about this Good. game uh, for example yeah, this guy is hungry I'm going Good. to go and uh, tell him to eat I'm also going to build a post over here in the southern area yeah I have pretty much covered what I needed let's go ahead oh the, the stork just brought our first baby boy. I'm going to go ahead and build a well over here as well as a... I'm going to need a huntsman tent. So they can begin hunting for um, food. Uh, over here it's okay, I guess. We have a professional miller and this guy is hungry. So I'm going to tell him to eat some, um, some berries. Hope they're not poisonous. 
No, there is no poison in this game. Luckily, it's not that enough. So as you can see, the food increased a little bit. I'm going to tell him to eat again. After he sleeps, of course. As you can see, the they have four needs. These are the primary needs. So food is quite obvious. They need to eat to survive. Sleep, uh, well, yeah. This guy is now well rested. They'll just uh, sleep and that's done. Food is going to be a very important issue and you have to take care of it. As you can see, the food supplies are simply going down. The well is now going to resupply itself. Luckily, they don't have... Uh, water needs that would have been very annoying i can now since the miller is very experienced i can now build a bakery you have to talk a lot so much in this game oh the kids i'm going to build it over here and uh, it one more time yeah there's also entertainment need and religion need but they become unlocked uh, later on and I'm going to explain how they work. So since I have pretty much covered this area, I'm just going to um, go ahead and name this guy uh, Huntsman since I just finished the Huntsman tent anyway. Hunting is a very good way to gain uh, food early on but um, uh, just early on. Because if you overhunt, then you're going to run out of animals and eventually run out of food. There's also no lakes around, so unfortunately we cannot gain food from fishing. That's a very easy way to gain food early on. Let's go ahead and build the other things that we are going to need around. A clay, a clay worker stand to gather clay, or wood doctor stand to gather wood. And um, uh, later on I'm going to be the stone mason stand. A fruit farm, I could build a fruit farm over here. The fruit farm basically just gathers the food from the berries. So they don't have to go all the way to the berries and all the way to the berries and just get it from here. He's hungry, oh my god. It's getting dangerous. Oh, he killed the poor rabbit. Oh, As you can see, as he works, his experience gathers. And once he reaches 100, uh, he unlocks new things. This is the technology tree. And yeah, bakery is very, very important because you want to become self-sustaining with food as early as possible. And he's ready. I can now assign our... Uh, a highly experienced miller to become a baker while assigning a farmer to become a your miller view, your view. let me check my how many mm, I have four building constructors I guess that's a little bit too much I'm going to assign one more building constructor to become a carrier for the bakery a carrier is a guy who simply brings resources to the bakery and that's very important to the bakery because you want to ease the job of the baker. Also, as they um, gain experience, they also gain some points which you can allocate them to things such as strength, endurance, rhetoric or piety. I'm not sure how those work, so I'm just going to randomly assign them. As you can see, he's now bringing flour and... Uh, this guy is hungry and he's just eating the food that he just produced and this guy ate the food that... Well, whatever. As you can see, he's bringing flour to the bakery. The clay worker stand is now ready. I'm going to assign a worker once the generation is growing. A kid is considered adults once he's 15 years old and luckily they don't die of old age. So there are many, many concepts in this game. I'm struggling to explain them to you all as... Uh, easy as I can and this guy just produced our first uh, bread I can say we have our first adult this guy is going to become a um, hmm. I'm going to make him clay worker 
No, I'm not entirely sure. What I do need is to start building some roads. I have 20 stones and I should start building some roads in order to make my villagers faster, especially on the road to the bakery. Increased road infrastructure will definitely allow us to move faster. Wood doctor stand is ready. We have a huntsman professional which unlocks shepherd's hunt and shoemaker's workshop. I'm going to build the shoemaker one first over here <laughs> and it can make shoes so better shoes along with the uh, road infrastructure will allow our villagers to move much faster and much more efficient. This is going to be a very long road and why the hell doesn't it allow us to? I guess it's just too... Uh, I don't have enough... Oh I hate it when this happens. Oh, uh, this is... Could not... Why not? Dude, you're just right over here. Very experienced, so this guy has 3 points I'm just going to allocate here. As you can see, the miller already um, unlocks the entertainment needs. So basically, as they start working into industry, they will have entertainment needs. And religion will uh, occur a little bit later. We have two new adults. This guy is going to be a farmer. Why don't? Why don't? So he can assure our food infrastructure. Well, this guy is going to be just a... Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Let's make him a wood yeah. doctor. And let's order the ne next generation. SAP. Yes. Oh my god, how much? Oh, uh, that was flour. I was so scared that we ran out of food so early on, it could have been dangerous. The the baker isn't yet producing as fast as you need. Also, all, all these things here are, are conditions that uh, basically help the um, you know, villagers be uh, better off. Mm. I'm just thinking that my game is going to be so long that I'll have to go and um, restart recording the video after an hour. Oh, this guy killed a bear. That's going to be a lot of food for a while. You know what's going in there, don't you? Right over... right over there. Hopefully the fruit farm will be ready soon. And we definitely need more stones. Many more stones. But the guy, the clay worker is ready so I can build um, several things. I even forgot about them. Stone mass and stent is what I need to start gathering stones from here. Ouch. That hurt. Oh damn ships. Oh we have a professional wood doctor which allow us to build a house for two families. We will get there shortly. And allow us to build a carpenter's workshop which will allow us to build <sighs> to create um Wooden tools, which are uh, necessary for builders, for example, to be more efficient. Hmm. Our bakery surely needs to get better attention. This guy is going to need more things over here. Our food is running low and you'll, I will shortly get a warning that my food production is not near enough. Fruit farm is ready but unfortunately I don't have anyone to assign to it. Oh, mm, oh we have some oxen over here. That's, uh, well, that will be a plenty amount of food. Also this is the first culture game I forgot to mention. There's uh, four culture games. 
made after, um, you know, like sequels after this one. But the thing is that the After Sculptures too, they have a kind of different mechanic and they look differently uh, compared to Cultures 1. So Cultures 2, 3, 4 look pretty similar in between them but slightly different from Cultures 1. And I've decided to not play them yet because I'm more familiar with this one. But if you want to, I can try them out as well. They are more advanced, they have more advanced weaponry, you can also pet animals and uh, create farms and um, so it's even more advanced than this and it's, this is pretty much crazy. Everybody is sleeping. The meal is producing um, quite well. And we're starting to produce a decent amount of food over here. I guess the baker is um, at yeah, maximum experience and once that happens uh, he will uh, yeah, basically gain... Uh, he will be able to produce like even two, uh, two in a row. This guy is very experienced and can be trained. I'm going to train him in food and endurance. I'm probably going to assign him to the fruit farm and... Anyway, I'm just going to do that right now. Fruit collector. Yeah. Sun mass stent is ready, so as soon as the next generation is ready... <laughs> Stop snoring, for God's sake. As soon as the next generation is ready, I'm going to need to assign like this. Let me think. So to clay one... So he can, the one that's here, go to the stone. The two huntsmen wants the guy that's here to the shoe. And I guess a farm one, so I can. I, I will need to build a second bakery to be more self sustained, to be more assured. Funny. A really cute game, I have to say. It's very cute, but brings in uh, such advanced strategic con concepts that that really makes it amazing. That guy just hunted something over there. As you can see, we have a pretty much leather surplus. As you hunt, you produce food and leather. The food is consumed, and the the leather is left. I'm going to use the leather soon enough. Okay, we have the new generation ready. This guy is going to be a clay worker. So that the current clay worker can become a stone mason. This guy is going to become a huntsman. So that the current huntsman can become a shoemaker. That's ready and the next guy will be ready soon enough. Over here. Watch the magic. The fruit corrector is going on pretty well. As you can see they are much faster on the road. And they will also tend to stick on the roads when they can. 15 years old. Or 6... Mm, that, was, that was a bit weird. And this guy... Mm, mm, mm. Not really very sure but... I guess I'll make him a farmer, because I need the second bakery soon enough. So we are now producing stone, which will be very required for the the building of the second of the road continuously. I'm going to build a lot of roads over here and here and here and over here and here and here. Ugh. I haven't even discovered the, the entire map. There's also isn't that much stone. There is lots of iron over here, but stone, mm, 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 not that much. And uh, yeah, the shoe is 
the shoemaker is in there as you can see I don't know you can see he's spilling shoes once he's done you can see a new shoe and the guy will just uh, randomly come in and take the new shoes and uh, you'll see them as conditions over here I don't know some guy will eventually take them and I, I, my guess is that the shoes improve the speed, but I cannot be 100% sure. <laughs> yeah, this guy took the shoes, as you can see, and they are 100%, so they need to change the shoes once in a while. Quite obviously. So let's start right ahead with the next generation. You don't have any time to stop. And for the next generation, I'll prepare the buildings. So, um, I will want a potter workshop. From the pottery, I'm going to build it, mm, I don't know, I guess somewhere around here, or maybe not. If I build the carpenters over here and the furniture over here, mm, not very sure. I guess I'll. Mm, it's really interesting how you have to position them as well. Fine, let's just build it over here, I don't care. Actually, I do care, but whatever. Mm, and the carpenter's workshop, I guess I'll be quite obvious to build it over here, so next to the wood doctor's one. Doctor's tent. The food is going dangerously low, but the baker is now quite... Well producing, we are having our babies. This was experience, and this guy became a master stone mason, which would allow us to build um, gold mines. But I don't see any gold around yet. I haven't checked the entire map, so. What's that? What are you talking? Oh. As you can see, since their entertainment need is low, they need to talk with other people so they can... Um, this is looking for company. Yeah, you pretty much have to um, um, make the screen uh, full screen uh, when you watch the video, otherwise it will be very difficult to understand uh, What's going on? Unfortunately, I can't. I can't help it. Mm. Nope. No. 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 What the hell? Mm. I'm thinking to do the ultra speed up because this is getting. Quite boring to wait. I forgot the hotkey to um, introduce the the. Mm. Never mind. Just taking a glass of water. Water workshop is done. This guy is very experienced. I'm going to train him. I'm going to eventually need more building constructors, but they're not as vital as actual workers I guess we now have enough stones to um, finish the road till the I mean to the bakery alright that very beautiful. You can check what each of them is are doing, you know, you can just uh, look around and see how these guys, for example, going in, then going there and building the shoe and doing stuff. This guy is, for example, is looking for equipment, so he's going to get some shoes. Uh, this guy is working, he's going to get in and... Uh, Wanted to work, what's wrong? Ah, it's, 
he's hungry. Carpenter shop is ready. The baker is quite well producing. Let's see, from 70 to 90, so it, when it's high experience, he can produce uh, uh, two units of food for one. How much time has passed? I should have checked the time when I started recording. Yo, yo. Hmm. We have a master carrier, which means that this guy can now become a merchant. This is how um, trade in this game works. So if we meet with other tribes, um, you can establish, um, well, sort of trade routes and, uh, you know, exchange stuff. Our food is running dangerously low in the main house. And although the bakery is quite producing, I'm still worried. And the fruit farm and the huntsman tent, I'm still worried that it won't be enough. And it's, it's quite uh, because the um, population also increased. Sure, there's also a lot of food in the dwelling tents as the mothers bring food so the uh, boys, the kids, whatever, have um, easy access to eat them. Our shoemaker is trying to experience. Oh, and from shoemaker, now we can make leather workshop. Finally got an adult. That took f almost forever, so I'm going to make a w him a wood doctor, so the current wood doctor can become a joiner. However, is that produced and start making wooden tools from wood, which can be then equipped right over here to increase, I guess, efficiency in work or something. I'm not sure. This little guy will become a huntsman. Yeah. Or should he become a huntsman? No, maybe not. I guess he'll be be more yeah. useful as a clay yeah. worker, so that the current clay worker can become a potter. Yeah. Potter will start making crockery, not pottery. I don't know why that. And uh, pottery is required to increase the comfort level of the homes, just like furniture and oil, which um, basically increase the living standards of your um, guys and uh, it's kind of useful and this last guy um, I want to make him a scout to see a little bit around some more and to check out what's around here and especially what's around here and obviously build posts around here so that if workers go far enough or like hunting or bring resources they can know their way back. So a post Yo. over here will be fine. Yo. Man that is, that is really fucking creepy dude. Yo. Yo. Clay. No, dude. Mm. Okay. Seems okay until now. Small lake. Alright. Well, we pretty much reached the end of the map over here. Okay, so I guess there are no tribes or anything in this part. A bit of um, clay and some food, but, you know, yeah. nothing important. Yeah. Stop with the... No, no. Dude, this is so fucking creepy, I don't know no, why no. I'm creeped out by this. I'm, I'm basically... It's the exploring of the unknown. No, no. And this idea is just... So weird. Stay a little bit to put a mark on you or yeah. something. Do the one over there. Also, if you click on the post, you can see them. Actually, not. Don't put it over there. Put it a little bit farther. Stay in the one place for one. Yo. God's sake. I 
Uh, let's start building the second bakery. Since I definitely want one. And it's going to be over here. Alright. We are venturing into the unknown. The real unknown. The great unknown. Hmm. Mountain. Gold. Oh. That's convenient. And stone. Well, this is very convenient. Where the hell are you going? Ah, oh, you're going to sleep. Why didn't you say so? These workers are going quite far. This guy is very experienced and I'm going to train him. More strength and endurance. Alright. So he found some gold and stone over here, which is very useful. More oxen. That will be very useful for our hunters. Sources of food. What else? Yeah, baby. Hmm. Forced out. I smell something fish over oh, here. <gasps> calivers. Oxen calivers. Forced out. That can only mean one thing. We there are other people on this map. I knew it. This guy became an experienced joiner, but whatever. So there is actually another tribe on this map. Damn, I haven't played it so long. Hmm, so, um, he is uh, neutral, which is okay, I can choose how I perceive them and uh, their perceivance is neutral, which means that they are not at war but they don't have a treaty and in order to make a treaty I need to trade them 5 spears. Why would they need that? I don't want to know. Let's see what they have, I hope they don't mind spying on them. Quite have a lot of population. Hmm. Wigam, I'm going to assume that's the tent. Huntsman tent, wood doctor's tent, fruit collector's tent. A supply tent. No farm, no. What the hell is that? Ancestor's temple? You're hungry? Well, me too. Well, since I guess they won't really bother... Is he really reaching for food from the trees? Wow, I didn't know that could happen. We just build a second bakery, which is fantastic. Now just eat around over okay. here. We have a professional potter. And I know I just built a second bakery. And... Uh, after you... Eaten around. So they don't have any actual self-sustaining food. That means that once they ran out of um, all these oxen and um, all the fruits and um, all that, uh, they will be quite pressed. Hmm. This will look interesting. In long term, I mean. Also, let me check out his supply tent, so what does he offer? Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, I could build pretty much all of these things. I'm already building shoes, mushrooms are easy to collect, wood I'm already getting. Spear and bows are a little bit more advanced, but... Um, you know, did they want beer in exchange and I... Basically, could just go to build this right away instead of building beer to trade. I guess oil might be this one might be beneficial. Trade some leather for some oil, but you no. Know. Okay, since we have the bakery ready, I'm going to assign the current miller to it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, one of the advanced farmers will become mm -hmm. the miller. And the scout will become a... A what? I could make him a carrier for the... Oh, stay in one place for f 5 seconds. For the other bakery. You left a flower on the floor, dude. I guess we pretty much assured our um, 
self-sustainance and I completely forgot to tell them to prepare the next generation. Also, if you high, if you hover the mouse over a building, it will show anything that is related to it. For example, the dwelling ten is the home of the woman and this guy, which is working at the bakery. So quite convenient. Oh, since we are building crockery, we, like, you can see that almost all the house have crockery, which uh, basically increases the luxury, and um, it's quite okay. Let me see what else. Furniture workshop. Yeah, I might need that. Iron mine will be required if I want to um, make weapons. And house for three families. Oh, yeah. You know what? After uh, they finish making the child, I'm going to um, change the houses into house for free families because they can simply get more people in them and, uh, well, you know, more space effective. Thinking, what should I build next? What should I focus on? I need many, many things. I even. Yeah, we have lots of stones, so why don't we um, improve our buildings? Our, I mean, road network. Over here. And will it be enough to create one from here all the way to here? Yes, it will be. So yeah, good stuff. Pretty much everyone now has shoes, so that's okay. Well, you now know from where babies come from. Oh, for fuck's uh. sake. Mm, I'm going to pause a second to um, see how much I have recorded on the. Um, uh, webcam and uh, come right back all right so um, yeah I checked the time I've recorded about 40 minutes so I could have recorded a little bit longer but I decided to take it from zero so hopefully in one hour from now I'll be done with this uh, game but I don't think so this is the kind of game that really gets you in you know what I mean you don't want to explore and this is one of the easiest scenarios there are some scenarios the worst scenarios are completely unmanageable i simply cannot think in war economy to get the food and the soldiers ready it do you know how difficult it is to make a soldier you don't even want to imagine i'll get to that i'm going to simply obliterate these people <laughs> So evil. We're running very, very low on stones. There's none here. That means we're going to have to put our stone workshop all the way here. Which is quite, quite far. This guy's very experienced. Uh, let's give him more endurance so he can. I guess there, these things are related to their. Um, need so strength means that they can go longer without food, endurance longer without sleep, rhetoric longer without entertainment, and piety longer without religion. But I cannot be sure. I even now I'm struggling to understand certain concepts of this game. Hmm. I don't check out over here, neither over here, but I guess there's nothing important. I hope so. I can see the guy working to make the puzzle. I wanted to be a potter. I know I had I had some dream of mine when I was young to become a potter. Like I I think it came from this game. 
No. Eleven years old, eleven, twelve years old, and this guy's a little bit younger, I guess. Ten years old. They have crockery, so they can say they spend their lives more luxuriously than their previous generation. It's true that they should have added dying of old age. I know that made things much more difficult. But uh, it would have made it more realistic, so... Not sure how I was going to even deal with that, but... Uh, you know, just saying. Everything fine and dandy. Oh, we have our adults ready. So this guy is going to be a. Uh, hmm. Well, that's interesting. Mm, oh, doctor, I guess. This guy is going to be a. Uh, a lay worker, I guess. And the last guy is going to be a hunter. Or should I make him a building constructor? Nah. I don't know. Okay, so we have these guys doubled. So we can now advance. Oh, let's let's build the houses first. Let's upgrade the houses. So you can go to a house, you can go over here to jump to house to center it. You can get help about it, what they have, what uh, blah blah. And you can raise it. Sorry, girl. If you raise it, it will disappear, but the resources that are in it and that it has been made of will still remain there, so that's convenient. And we'll build this huge, large house family for free and assign her over here. And this will allow us to um, sign the, you know. Yes. Another woman. Yo. Now we'll be able to make a generation of four kids. Yes, I know you're very experienced. Why can't you train yourself? You know, I'm I'm glad that they don't have their own opinions. This would have made the game even more difficult than it already is. Like, um, you know, maybe I don't want to become a building constructor. I want to become a farmer. I'm like, shove, you're going to become a building constructor even if that's the last thing you're going to do in your life. So, um, let's go ahead and build a um, furniture workshop. To increase the comfort by making furniture, obviously. I'm going to assign the joiner to cabinet maker. And the uh, wood doctor to, um, obviously, joiner. Additionally, what else additionally? House family for free, very well. Iron mine, I can build the iron mine and um, uh, prepare um, iron extraction, which is quite complicated, but I, I'm going to get you through it as well. Mushrooms will be required for, for making oil, but I'm not really hurrying on that later. Barracks is required to make soldiers but not hurrying on that either. And school, it's very interesting the concept of school. It makes it basically makes uh, it allows you to train your workers without them spending time actually doing the work. Very interesting concept and it's very useful if you have like large uh, gigantic uh, settlements and uh, you know but uh, in this place, you don't really need a spoon. Am I making a lot of mess over here? Let's make a shepherd hunt. Start uh, gaining wool. 
And what else? No, I could also build a brewery to make build uh, beer, which is um, used by soldiers, is increasing their life regeneration rate. I'm just thinking there's so many things that I could potentially build. Or how much stone do we have? We can um, expand the road network. A fancy way of saying stones on a something. What? Okay, one over here. Hmm. What else? I need one from here all the way to here. Let's build the one to here. What was that? These guys are funny. I'm not understanding a thing they say, but they're funny. Uh, I really don't know. You know, I should have made this a live stream and get your opinions on it. You know, what what should I build next? Uh, just just write in the comments. I I I will I'll look into them. Sure, no problem. Just just write there and then I'll do it. There's so many things that could have been added to make the game even more challenging, like weather, natural disasters, uh, dying of old age. Uh, uh, how they're called, the, the settler's own opinions, uh, and other stuff that uh, have been already introduced in the uh, further further versions of cultures. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm also glad that you can choose what they have. So it's like, uh, hey, honey, what what uh, baby are you going to have? A uh, girl? Um, um, no, um, go back there and don't come out until you have a penis. Oh, okay. I'm getting furniture, which um, I guess they'll get. No, these guys already have furniture, so they are basically living on high standards. The bakeries are pretty much overproducing, which is fantastic. And the mill and farm is able to supply them even with one farmer, which is amazing. Pretty uh, stable, self-sustaining um, thing around here, settlement, I should call it. And all we can do now is to um, concentrate on building an army to wipe these guys out, and we have basically made everything. So I guess we'll do just that. I'll prepare a brewery over here. I might finish it in one hour, I guess, hopefully. Damn, it's so late over here, oh my god. You can see her bringing the crockery.
And we have the shipper's hunt ready, hut ready. So now the guy will just come in and uh, do his stuff. Oh my god, we only have like two stones left, so I need to move these two over here. Finally the iron mine is ready. Sure took a lot. And you know, since we're still going to it, let's uh, go ahead and um, build the spear maker workshop. And build it over to here and also the leather workshop over to here. Both require for making a spearman. Uh, the leather workshop will make leather armors and the spear maker will make spears which are both required to uh, train a civilian to a spearman soldier. Yeah, that's the process. I'm looking to see where there are more mushrooms since uh, I'm not going to bother to, um, um, you know, um, trade with them. I might as well build a oil refinery to say it like that. Which might, which will only need a mushroom collectors thing. Over to here. Collectors hot. So this guy, I can say that his generation lived even better time than the, the previous generation. They now have both cockery and furniture. Oh, stop snoring, for God's sake, you're making me sleepy over here. Oh, look how the um, wool is made. Yep, just uh, white wool from a grey sheep. Seems legit. Oh, I already became a master shepherd. Which is highly convenient. Or inconvenient, because now he'll have to work the same thing for a lot of time, because I'm not planning to replace him anytime soon. Or not replace him, advance him into a position. Also, I forgot to note them, you can only assign one worker to these um, advanced industrial workshops, to say like that. So to simple extraction things like clay workers, huntsmen, wood doctor or fisherman, you can uh, assign up to three guys, but to these things you can only assign one guy and additionally if you want a um, carrier to help. Oh, we have the minor ready. The cabinet maker is highly experienced and uh, let's make him endure some more and more rhetoric. Don't know how that works. Finally got a new adult. So you guy is going to Yo, become you. a farmer. We'll need two farmers. You two will become yeah. a farmer. Yeah. You will become... I want to build things faster, so I might need to wait another generation. But you'll become a builder. We pretty much ran out of stone. This guy is going to announce us that there is no more resources over there left. And you'll become um, a wood doctor, so we can start making spears. And we're also going to need a huntsman, so we can start making leather. Let's just go ahead and make another generation. This is fun. Should I bother to gain gold? So I'm going to explain you. Gold is only required to upgrade your soldiers. So from gold nudges you make um, gold uh, plates. Which increases the rank of your soldier and uh, also their damage and armor, but apart from that, nothing else. Uh, 
Oh. Just what I said. And this guy is just going to go around like an idiot. I'm going to raise the house. They can get the stone from the ground. And build another stone making stuff. Stone man's stand. I'm sorry. Over to here and... Uh, tell this guy to get over here. Mushroom collector is now done. Which means that one of the farmers can become a mushroom collector. So many kids! And I'm running out of popcorn, oh my god! Nothing going on over here. No. I even forgot that I might. I considering that I might just run out of space. Considering just how ginormous the traps file will be. Holy shit! So in order, the cabinet maker will become a spear maker and the wood doctor will become a joiner. We got rid of one problem. Also you can see that pretty much all of them have wooden tools now from the, the thing, obviously. The bakeries are pretty sick. Well, yeah, everything is fine. Ugh. Too bad that no goods get stored in the main warehouse, but what can you do? So the brewery is ready, that means that I'm going to assign the baker to become a brewer. While the miller will become a baker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the uh, farmer will become a miller, and that's it. Yeah, just put it on the ground. And here you can make beers from wet and water. Seems legit. And here we have. The guy that is going to become a spear maker, his religion need has appeared. So from what I figured out, the food and sleep needs are basic, they appear to everyone. As they start working into things like into industrial things and uh, sort of becoming more separate from people, they gain the entertainment need. And if they start working into things such as weapon building, They'll get a religion need, so they kind of question their life if they have reached a point where they are making weapons. And I don't condemn them. Good for them. Well, spear maker shop is ready, finally. Where was I building the leather workshop? I even forgot. Was it there? Over there. Good! Uh, waving mill. This will be required to make tunic out of wool, which is required for archers. Yep, I know my stuff. But till then, stone masons only now is ready. Good lord, that took a lot of time. I'm going to hire another builder, and I think that would be enough. Further expansion of the road networks will be beneficial. And look how the first spear is made. There we go. All done. Mm. 
Why not? Ah, it's too far. But anyway, that should be enough. Feeling has no more resources already? Really? So I was not very... Oh, this guy went too far. Holy shit. Dude, what are you doing here? Okay, we now have our adults, but I need to replace this thing to um, another place. Uh, mushroom collector's hut. Over the air. Uh, yep. And tell this guy over here to become a mushroom collector. Now, let's see, this guy will become a farmer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you agree. This guy yeah, will yeah. become a hunter. Yeah, yeah. Huntsman, sorry. This guy will become a yeah. clay worker. Yeah. And the final guy will become a building constructor. No, oh, damn it, I ran out of popcorn. Ah, oh, this guy is already a spear maker master. And his religion need is going down crazy. Leather workshop is ready. So, uh, the guy who is shoemaker, where the, where the hell you're going? No, you're going the right way. Yeah. Become a tanner. While the guy who is an experienced hunter will become yeah. a shoemaker. Yeah. And I'm going to need another one for the waving mill. So, next generation on the way. There's also these weird things over here. Yeah. Goosebumps. Mm, the food is getting a little bit lower. Or is it because the yeah, I hired the inexperienced guy as I moved the, the him to the brewery. We'll already have free beers. Awesome. And so much wool that he needs to empty the inventory. The tanner is working, the spear maker is doing his job. Very experienced, huh? One point of each. So in order to advance furthermore, I'm going to me build a lot of things. So iron smelting workshop will be one of them. The mushroom collector's hut is already in construction. The next thing will be the um, bow maker's workshop, which will be over to here. And for now, yeah, for now, that's okay. Waving meal is finally ready. Have three workers, but it's not enough. I could uh, go ahead and build the thing required to uh, make oil, and that is a temple. Because logic. Logic. In case you haven't figured that out, these guys are Vikings. Can't believe <laughs> I said that only now. So, yeah, there's, there will be the temple to make oil from mushrooms. The baker guy is quite experienced, so I might as well just uh, improve his 
or train him, whatever. Stop crying. Look at what advanced conditions you have. I mean, that's like TV and yeah, the stuff for yeah. us. Yeah. I guess all of them would mean uh, internet as well. It's only furniture and uh, crockery means like uh, let's say uh, I don't know like TV and uh, radios or maybe cell phones or something. And uh, all three of them would mean something like um, internet and uh, a computer and an internet. Oh my god, how long is this going to take? I hope you enjoy watching me play this. Because not, nah, then you just wasted like... Two hours of your life? It's going to be two hours. Most definitely. Longest video ever. I don't think I'm ever going to make a video this long. Or at least not... Anytime soon. Oh, right. Um, the iron miner will become a yeah. iron smelter. Yeah. And the uh, clayer, or whatever is clay, clay worker, yeah. sorry, will yeah. become an iron miner. Very experienced, really. I like how they go around bears and they're just like, yep, yeah, normal things around here. So yeah, in this uh, one, uh, wild animals can't attack you, but in the other versions, cultures too and such, they can attack you, so important to note, or note to self. His shoes are pretty worn off, but never mind, I have a no surplus of shoes in, like, how many shoes are only two? Eh means that the shoes are quite worn out. Mushroom collector sat, professional tanner. I'm going to make... Uh, change this one to a house for free families. But I'll also need two more women, so um Iron Smelting Wars, so now he can uh smelt iron. Finally the adults are ready. Good lord that took a lot of time. You yeah. Yeah. wood doctor mm, what else? You Huntsman. What else do we need? The brewer is going on as well. Huh? Uh, did, did something happen? Let's just assign him to the next level and not waste any time with this because it's already done. Alright, this guy is an adult. You're going to be a clay worker. And the last guy will be a building constructor. That's sorry for wasting your time carrying that thing. That their building just has been raised. Yep. It's like, what? What kind of sorcery is this? I love that. So, house for free families. Fuck yeah. Can you actually build it on the road? Make any sense? 
Ah, it should be just here. God damn it. Ah, never mind. Uh, just them talking around. So I'm going to need to make two more girls get married in this huge house and then um, and additional boys for whatever else. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh, this game never ends. It never ends, but it still brings me to doing it. I don't know what to do. Hungry? Well, that's a problem I haven't seen in a very, very long time. Seven stones. Okay, so uh, coming back, uh, this guy, you will need to become a way with this guy. You will become a shepherd. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, this guy, you will become a bowmaker. Also, if you haven't noticed, once they become highly experienced in a profession, they gain a hat. That's the way of saying that they are experienced. You will become a spear yeah. maker and you will become a yeah. joiner. Yeah. Have how many? Let me check. What do we have? So, professions. Six building constructors, two carriers, one a doctor, one to each uh, two to clay workers, one to each over here. One, two bakers, and one to everything else. So six building constructions is taking that long to build a freaking building? Oh hell. Look at this guy how slow he's working. Come on, dude. I guess I'll hurry an another carrier for the iron. The bow maker is ready. No, oh, he's a professional brewer. Oh, and apparently brewing does affect religion. Who would have thought? You get used to the sounds, don't worry. You will get used to them. That is a long way. They already took all this. Yeah, I guess they did. But at least there is enough stone over here for pretty much everything that we are ever going to build in here. What this guy is going to do? Hmm. Go and eat. You have 17 supplies of food in the baker, you can eat until you burst. Such an idiot. And you're tired, of course. Ah, I missed. So I also free family is ready. Fantastically well. at her carrying the <laughs> furniture he's basically feeling the 
house with food because there's too much stuff in it. Look at the girls. <laughs> oh, and they're making their hair. Nice. Oh yeah, the the kid, uh, the boy is going to become a carrier for these things. Why is this guy taking so long to do anything? I know he's not properly sleeping. The thing is that when they are hired to these kind of things, they take like short sleep breaks and they only charge. Look, at, look how very little. They get to the tired after the second thing. Finally the temple is ready and we can start producing oil Which will bring the comfort level of our homes to maximum And a nice fire will appear over here once the they'll have oil We have an adult ready, go and marry, we have another adult ready I wonder if you'll marry the... No, no, the Miller. They also kiss. <laughs> Leaving for a second, woman. Okay, you two yep. get married. The carrier. Pretty formal marriage. Now it's going to be a love voice for the next generation. Eh. Six boys. Hell yeah. And considering how we have pretty much built everything in the infrastructure, I will still need for um here some things, but apart from that... So apart from the um, iron thing and the thing that will come out of it, so uh, like armor making and the sword making, apart from that we have pretty much all the workers required, which means that we are ready to build a barracks to train our soldiers I wonder if they got the problems with food already where the hell did you go dude Yo. so annoying Mm, so being a druid and working in a temple does not affect your religion, but being a being a brewer and working in a brewery does. The more you know. Oh, look at the barracks. That's going to be a lot of kids. Hope we have enough food to support all of them. You know, I'm actually thinking right now about building a third bakery. It, and it's not really that crazy. This guy is surely getting it slow. I have to say that there's not much wood. It's really consumed by all these. Oh, let me check something. Oh. 
so much time has passed. Oh my god. Oh, leather armor. My ears! Too many guys crying! And build, bring the resources and don't have enough time to freaking build it. So useless builders. Oil bottles. Oh, as you can see, they all have all three of them. So maximum comfort. Then the fire appeared. And these guys too. And these guys too. Oh, oh this guy's not any longer. But they will have in a second. There we go. Maximum condition. So this, uh, this in their thing is like equivalent with uh, what pretty much I have, like internet and TV and uh, all that. You know what, I think I'm going to make another, assign another guy to the wood doctor then because we are not getting wood fast enough. Son of the new generation. Druid. Fine. Shoes. Can you freaking build a barracks already? Thank you very much. Oh my god, this guy's really hungry. He lost a huge amount of life. Dude, be more careful. And now he's eating like crazy. And he's going to sleep long and well. Finally, the barracks is ready. I just have to sign some carriers to start bringing weapons in it. And afterwards... Afterwards, we can start making soldiers. I'm glad for you. As you can see, their needs are much well satisfied if they have uh, things to say like that. Finally, you will become a wood doctor, as I mentioned. become a carrier for the barracks you will become another carrier for the same barracks and uh, clay worker I know what I'm doing don't worry I guess... Let's make yeah. him yeah. also carrier. And the last guy a building constructor.
Look at our guys bringing weapons in the barracks fantastically well. So we can now prepare our next generation, which will be soldiers. Let me just take another pause and begin the third uh, thing. I'm not sure if I should section them into parts or just make one whole video. I'm really not sure. But anyway, see you in a second. Alright guys, welcome back and I just remembered to save the game. Because it would have been so dramatic if I just lost right now a power shutdown or anything. I would be like... No. They have too many resources and they do not use them. They're so idiots. They don't they're not even self-sustaining. Look. They they'll run out of food. They have too much population for for how much food they're producing. Finally, we're starting to produce iron, like, I, I mean, well, but this guy is really <laughs> not getting it right. Sure, just sleep right on top of him. You know what? Let me yeah, make yeah. him a scout for one second. And yeah, just sleep like well. So when he, when he doesn't have a job and he goes to sleep, he's much more effective. There we go. Yeah. Now go and eat, but not just eat. Just fucking pour something in that stomach. Better now. Let's eat another time yeah. just to be sure. Oh god, all the kids. Now yeah. take a long sleep. Dude, the bakery is right over here. What's wrong with you? Alright. And now go back to becoming yes. an iron smelter. To yeah, being yeah. an iron smelter. Sure, you can have some shoes. Don't bring any more iron ores, bring wood. Oh Christ. The wood doctor's tent is too far, I haven't thought this one well. And I don't even have well roads to make. Contact. Uh, hopefully I'll finish in this part or whatever you want to call it. I have quite a lot of things over here, which is great. You can make lots of soldiers. Yeah, in one hour I want to finish this. This has been way, way too long. Nobody's going to watch it. The two and a half people that are still watching it, thank you. You're the best. And hope you play this game and hope you freaking enjoy it and finish it. Like a man. Or a viking. Too near... No, too... I even forgot what the vikings heaven. God, I'm so dumb.
Just go so far away. Didn't find any shoes where shoes are freaking over here. Not there. Oh god. Very well for you, dude. Very well for you. Now have our adults ready. What do? It holds her ring to the bong at the end is to own the apple to the child. Why is it? I thought he was almost done. Why is this guy taking so long? Oh god. I think I'm going to die over here. Next generation on the way. Yeah. Yo. Yo, Ben. Yep. Yo. You too. Okay, let's make some soldiers. Yeah, Everybody in. And we're going to start with you, sir. You'll become an archer. Very well, I'm going to support you with beer because we sure have enough. And you're ready to leave the barracks. Hop and go. You, sir, will become a spearman. And you're going to also be supported with beer and leave the barracks. Yeah, I you sir will also become a... I don't have enough for swordsmen, so still spearmen. Supported with beer, we ran out of beer, but that's okay. And leave the barracks. The rest of you will going to become without beer support. And finally, that's it! That's how you start making soldiers. And these are still like uh, basic ones, I can still upgrade them by using gold or support them by using beers and I still haven't got swordsmen because this guy isn't fucking evolving yet! So annoying. I know what to do. This will finish the stuff on very quickly. Build a wood doctor tent right over here. Place the wood doctors there. Why don't? Mm -hmm. So one wood doctor will bring wood for these things, while the other one will bring for this thing. And that should be it. <laughs> yeah, this is the game. So all I'm waiting for is building an army big enough to take on this. They don't have any soldiers I know, but I have some very bad memories with this supply tent. They can take shelters in buildings and they will automatically attack. They have shelters. It's like in Age of Empires, the town centers or supply tent in their case is able to bring a little bit of damage. Yeah, I 
I don't know, should I build a gold mine? Let's just do it for the sake of it. Soldiers also have their own good, uh, I mean, not goods, they're just problems. I like the question marks, like, eat, sleep, go and... <laughs> really? Oh, I'd want it to work. Oh, they're starving and need food. Odd oh, ate already. Odd oh, is tired. Odd oh, is sleeping. Odd oh, is sounding odd. What the hell is this? I'm losing my mind. Oh, shut up. Our food production is running low. And I can notice that. Sure, there is a lot of food in the houses and all that, but oh, it is running low. Really? It took you this long to become a professional bow maker? Dear Lord. Oh, what are you doing there? Please. You have food over here. What are you doing, dude? Gold mine ready. This guy, this guy, come on, Aster, please, just do it, please. Why are you doing this to me? I guess you can pretty much figure out what I'm doing from now, so I'm just going to stop talking. My mouth is freaking aching and I just can't take it anymore. Yeah. Yes, I'm glad you agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Generation. Hurt. Next yeah. generation. Yo. Next generation. Next. 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 Yo. <sighs> I forgot about this guy. He needs to work one more time and he's a professional iron smelter, but he just can't... Oh god... This thing... Instant babies... Finally! Thank Jesus! You know how much I waited for that? Why did it tell me that you're hungry? There's food over here, you're just too idiot to reach it. Okay, I was just so happy that I forgot what I was supposed to do. So, anyway, now I can make the sword maker's forge and the armor sword. Whatever these are, I need them to make sword and armors. And hopefully to finish this once and for all. These guys are all chill. Mm, and now I know why I need the school. Oh god, this. Because if I'm going to wait for another guy to become an iron smelting. Dumbass, I'm going to die, so I'm going to make a school to train the guy to become one, because it's simply fucking... Ah. Gotta be fucking joking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Telling me that you're hungry, just go and eat. Yo, yo. We now have sword makers forge. The food supply is really dropping down. This this is the last generation. I'm going to make soldiers out of them, and um, that will be it. I'll need to use them to freaking win this war once and for all. 
Actually, there is no war. I'm just wanting to make the war. Why am I doing this? I'm starting to question my life. It's so late in the night. And I'm so tired and I play this game so much that I'm starting to question my life and my decisions. Why am I doing this? Stop freaking sleeping and pe get back to work! Jesus! Her food production seems to be running low. See? See, I told you! Freaking told you! It's because all the... Because I'm building over here, all the workers moved over here and they eat, ate all the food. Goods, let me see. The good level is increasing for the past... What, 10 hours? We can put this game on 10 hours? Crap. So, food. Food for the past 5 hours, it has been increasing, then dropped down, then increasing, and yeah, it's, it's, it is running low. There's also food farm if you haven't forgot. Finally, you. Just yeah. go to the school. Yeah. Oh, we have our new adults already. Right. going to train you into an iron smelter. I hope I chose the right thing. So you're going to become a stone mason. Gold. Become an iron smelter, then you're going to Work over here, I guess. No, as an armorer over here. I also need a carrier to here, unfortunately, and uh, and you go to school, and the rest of you get inside the barracks yeah. and wait <laughs> right you went in the school become an iron smelter professional yeah this is how the school works much like in real life, someone learns a profession and just pass it on. Isn't it how school works? In real life? No? Maybe? There we go. Yeah. No, you are a fantastic guy. Oh god damn it. I don't yeah. smelt. Yeah. You can go ahead and smelt iron. Right away you have all your needs full and there is enough. You don't need a wooden tool. I need to move my building constructors away from here. They're eating all the food. So we're starting to make iron armor as well. Oh, you can see them working, look.
There we go. Good for you. We also brought in gold. So we have our first... We can make our first source, man. And also support him with beer. If I were to upgrade him, we'll need two pieces of gold and we cannot afford that. God, this is so fun! Very funny. Forced out. I sure hope this army will be enough to um, defeat whatever natural defenses they have. Here it is. Yari. Our final battle begins. Yari. Let me just save this in case it goes horribly wrong. Go to diplomacy. Switch to war. Out. They'll also consider us enemies very shortly. I think we should go directly for the out. supply tent. Makes most sense. They're just ignoring us. That is fantastic. This will be a surprise attack. And that's it. There we go. Now the massacre shall begin. Just let them unleash chaos upon these guys. Where do you think they are going? It's also you can pretty much can commit genocide in this game. You can, if you want, you can put your soldiers to eat all their food and just leave them without any food. How bad is that? Should have been a, a tower over here so when they reach to be like obliterated. is just insane Ghost out Yavir Yo Look at what these guys are doing, dude. Nah, come on. He could steal your spear and kill you. Dude, really? You're just going to sleep over here? Oh my god. This will end badly. Yo, yo. 
Their population is dropping dramatically. The damage that has been done is unrecoverable. Her fruit production. I know my food production is running low, but there isn't much. Let me check my food production actually. Yeah, it's quite constant around there. What are you doing? What's wrong, dude? Oh, you're hungry? Yeah. No problem, look, free food. Yeah. Well, close your eyes and let magic begin. This is so wrong. Oh, so they do not attack babies automatically. That's, that's a little bit of decency. So they got pretty much all the guys over here. Washed out. Uh, this is pretty much in the very shortly. I still cannot attack him, but uh, once he grows up, I will uh, basically attack him and uh, and that's when it will end. They will simply no longer be. <laughs> I could still make peace with them. Can you believe that? With 31, with 5 beers and uh, spears and look, I made, <laughs> I made them friends. And now I'm their enemy again. Uh -huh. They put orders on construction but they cannot back enemy against. I just wasted waste, waste some resources, but... Pagan Temple, get it down! There we go. And I'll only wait for this little boy to grow up. 
Just Navi? God, this this game this is so wrong. Navi? But this is this is the last thing, and I I promise I I'll end this game. But I've pretty much done anything that there is to be done. Uh, where is he? Yari. Don't let him escape. No, oh, there he was. Yari. Singing Buffalo. Well, Mr. Singing Buffalo. So hungry. I know that perfectly well. Yari. This will be your last. You are the last member of your clan. Yeah. yeah. With you, everything ends. Dude, this is so creepy. Yo. I guess... Mm, speed up for the... How long it takes for him to finally grow up. Someone in the booth, please, let's make that faster. Uh-huh. Wait, what happened? Did... Did you get no, him? Is he dead? And what the hell did... Yeah. What happened here? I looked around for one second and... Not... No, no, no. There may be a little... Uh, more survivors... No, no. Ah, the pi Oh, they have left the world. That's it. So yeah, this has been pretty much cultures, the game with all the aspects, except for trade, but you know, that's a pretty small part and quite simple to manage. So hope you enjoyed, I really had enough of this. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye bye. Derp, 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 derp,